Hello everybody, Fuzzy here and welcome to Sea of Thieves. As most of you seen in my videos, I do guides, gameplay and cinematics revolving around Sea of Thieves. This guide series took me so many days to prepare and get together as I aim to make a one-stop shop for everything beginner to intermediate Sea of Thieves guide. Instead of roaming the web to hunt for the right guide or tips that you need, this series will be the right one for you. A storm of new players enter the seas yet still feel confused about basic game mechanics and features, which is expected because Sea of Thieves is unlike your average adventure game. This guide will help you achieve the most out of your first experience. Just like a book from your favorite encyclopedia, each video will be focused on a certain subject, so it can be short, useful and enables you to pick the subject you need when you need it. First, your character. Upon choosing your character, make sure you take your time on finding your favorite pirate, since there is no character customization in the game except outfits, hairstyles and cosmetics. Basically, the main facial features and gender of your character can never change. If you do not like the list of pirates you have, you can press page down on PC or right trigger on Xbox to generate a new list of pirates to choose from. If you already started a new character that you do not like and your levels are still below 10, I would suggest you delete your pirate and start a new one before it is too late. As soon as you pick your pirate, you will be directed to the ship selection menu. Currently, there are three ship types. Sloop, which is up to two players, Brigantine, which is up to three players, and the Galleon, which is up to four players. I recommend you choose the sloop and also choose close crew which means your game is private and no one can join except people on your friends list if you agree to do so. After the loading screen, you'll start in the tavern. That is where you usually spawn each time you log into the game. Resources. Resources are what you find in the barrels scattered around each charted island you visit, and they come in four types. Bananas are your health. You can carry maximum five bananas in your inventory, so make sure you keep that stocked up so you can survive the seas. If your pirate gets any damage, the health bar will appear on the bottom left of the screen, and this is where you should eat your bananas. Wooden planks. These are your ship's health, and just like bananas, you can carry five. If your ship is damaged, you will use wooden planks to patch up the hull and stop the water from flowing into your ship. Cannonballs, self-explanatory item. This is where you attack others using your ship's cannons, and you can carry maximum 10 at a time. Cursed Cannonballs, a later feature added to the game, these deal no damage but have different effects upon enemies. Green ones affect other characters and purple ones affect other ships. Each cannonball has a small description of the effect it causes under its title in your inventory. That is it for this video, now we will move to our next step, which is the outpost and what you can find in it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them here or join our discord for better assistance. Thank you. Mm -hmm.